Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I am heading to buy a $10,000 collection. So let's do this thing. Alright, so here's the collection. They're cool with the stuff being on film, so I'm gonna get the stuff. <laughs> and it's a lot of beautiful stuff. I'm gonna unpack it all when I get home, but we got the Turtles Arcade. Bunch of nice things in here. You can see the classic Game Boy SP. Bunch of SNES games, Pocky and Rocky. Lots of quality here, so we took care of everything. We're gonna load it up in my van. Alright, so the collection is beautiful. Everything is in amazing condition. Owen, thank you. Uh, I was a viewer that actually reached out on Facebook. He saw the last video where I bought the $8,000 collection and said he's interested in selling his and he generally agrees to the terms that I mentioned in the video. And he drove five hours and met me right in my backyard at, at the McDonald's close to my house. So. Owen, I appreciate it. Uh, him and his wife were here. They didn't want to be on video, but they're okay with all the stuff being on video. So there's all the stuff. I'm going to go through it when I get home. But quick reminder, this is the fourth or fifth collection I've bought from YouTube viewers. Uh, this is the third one that's been like eight grand or over in value. I paid him $3,850. Um, he had most of it in price charting. So if you want to do this, if you've got a collection that you want to get rid of or your wife wants to get rid of for you, um, hit me up on Facebook, Chase After the Right Price. Link is in the description and let me know. Just, uh, just know that in general my terms are paying 40% um, on most things in price charting and then about 20% on things that are valued under $10 because things under $10 are generally not worth selling individually. So. That's pretty much what we did here. It was valued somewhere between 10 and 11 grand. He had all the video games in price charting, but there's a lot of nice toys that you can't really get in price charting that are also here, and that brought it up to um, you know somewhere around 10 to 11 grand in value. The average value per item is really high. I think it's like $30 ish average value. So the, qual the quality is really nice. So stay tuned guys, there's some really good stuff here. And let me know if you got a collection yourself that you want to sell, as long as you can get within like an hour and a half of Kalamazoo, Michigan, and you agree to the general terms, we can work out a price on Facebook, just let me know. But let's see what I just bought for 3850 bucks. So my first impression of this collection is that it is super clean everything's bagged up packaged well and there's a lot of quality so I'm gonna show you guys bin by bin what's included and I think it'll be fun for you guys to see so let's do it so a couple of the big things that were in the collection included this Star Wars Black Series it's the first order special forces TIE fighter new in box pretty darn big but that was included and that is pretty awesome. Also, <laughs> Giant Arcade 1 Up, it's the TMNT version, also brand new. If I had room for that, I probably would keep it, but I don't have room for hardly anything anymore. <laughs> um, but that's awesome. I'm probably going to try to sell that like on Facebook Marketplace. This I'll probably sell either on eBay or FBA depends on um, the rank on FBA and everything but I'm gonna bring you guys over to the light box where we've got some beautiful games spread out so you can see the original Game Boy minty fresh in the box this is one of my favorite SPs the NES the classic NES edition 
The only downfall is that it's not the 101 with the brighter screen, but that thing is beautiful. Um, if there's a collection candidate, that's definitely high on the list. Well, you guys know I paid $3,850 $3, for this collection, so I gotta sell it. I gotta sell most of it. But then there's a bunch of nice games. Link, Mario, Lolo 2, DuckTales, TMNT Arcade Game with the Manual, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, G.I. Joe, Darkwing Duck, pretty uncommon, Final Fantasy, the gold one is Micro Machines, we've got Mega Man 2, Donkey Kong, Mario Bros 2, Batman, Rescue Rangers, uh, Chippendale, uh, Dodgeball, another Zelda, Crystalis, Contra, and some SNES games including Donkey Kong, Super Punch-Out, True Lies, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Donkey Kong Country 2, my favorite one, Pilot Wings, Disney's Aladdin, F-Zero, Rock and Roll Racing, Mario All-Stars plus Mario World, gotta love that, one of the greatest cartridges of all time, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and The Lost of Vikings. And then we've got a Donkey Kong complete in box. Almost looks like it might be sealed, actually. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll have to look at that one closer. It's definitely got wrapping on it. Can't tell if it's ever been opened. The box definitely has some shelfware. So we'll look at that one closer. But we got Super Metroid, Mario RPG, Final Fight 3, Sunset Riders, Turtles in Time, gotta love it, Chrono Trigger, beautiful, Pocky and Rocky, actually a fantastic game if you've never played it, I've played and beat the first and second one, it's co-op, Lufia 2, Lufia 2 I believe has the manual, Tournament Fighters, this was one of the first like rare NES games that I found as a kid, like at a flea market. I remember looking it up and just being shocked when I got home. Bucky O'Hare, and then the Adventures of Batman and Robin, and some manuals for the games. Also got Virtual Boy Wario Land and Tellero Boxer in some worn boxes. But man, definitely some beautiful stuff. Owen took great care of his collection, and there's a lot of toys and, and more game stuff to come, so stay tuned. I'm going to get it all unboxed and show you guys everything I got so the Donkey Kong isn't sealed but it, it does have most of the wrapping it was opened with great care so love seeing that okay so there's also N64 and GameCube systems brother Dave just tested those and they are working the GameCube has a Game Boy player and somewhere we're gonna find the Game Boy disc which is the important part for those that don't know but yeah nice that the systems are working okay so I'm gonna unpack this bin for you guys to see pretty excited so in this beautiful like plastic hard plastic case the black series Darth Maul brand new and also got Darth Vader. So I love these plastic cases. <laughs> super, super nice. Great way to display those. And then this is a TMNT Hot Wheels item. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it is sealed. So we'll have to look up that one, see what that is. Got this uh, plush Alf. <laughs> Um, it's clean and it is from 1986 so that's something and then let's just pull this out next this is the G.I. Joe Army Golden Knight it appears to be brand new let's see if it opens yep so there it is inside pretty nice so he was a big collector of toys and games and I guess most of the stuff was from his childhood but you can tell he still has been collecting recently because this is from 2019 and this is awesome Ghostbusters Transformers 
combination. Look at that. Brand new in the package. And then these I was very excited about. The G.I. Joe Transformers. I mean, that is just crazy. But these are San Diego Comic Con exclusive, 2011. We got this one. Not sure. I don't think that shows what's inside unless you open it. But we also got this one. So, I mean, that is awesome. That one's from 2013. So, two of those. I didn't even know that was a thing until he sent them to me. He sent a lot of pictures as I was doing it. Got the Sega Genesis Mini. That also appears to be new in box. This is the Batman Dark Knight Returns. Some sort of awesome looking figure. I'll show you the back of the box. So that's what we got inside of here. Pretty heavy, so it feels like it could be die cast or something. This also looks awesome. Optimus Prime featuring original PlayStation. So it changes into a PlayStation? That's awesome. <laughs> a PlayStation Transformers. Did not know that was a thing. Here we've got a Crash Bandicoot. Straight up figure. This is the Browning M-1910 in the box. I don't think that's new. I think that one is opened. And then we've got this Wolverine. This is from the same series as that Batman, the 112. That thing is pretty awesome as well. Pretty heavy. And then we've got something in a Ziploc bag that's nice and wrapped. So there's a weapon. And then inside the wrapping, we've got Donkey Kong on a cart. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, nice little Nintendo figure. So that's it for this bin. Beautiful stuff. There's no bad smells. Everything feels and looks clean. Love collections like this. So still got all this to go. So let's keep going. So next up we have this beautiful bin. Games, games, games. Of games. So all the cartridge games, like N64, have little collector's cases. Which, all of them look pretty nice. So you got Mario 64, Zelda Majora's Mask, Mario Tennis, Banjo-Kazooie, and Star Fox 64. And then I'll flip around so these are right side up. GameCube games, Simpsons Hit and Run, Paper Mario, NBA Street 2, Super Monkey Ball 2, some great games, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, NFL Blitz 2002, NHL Hits 2003, Greatest Hockey Game Ever, Tiger Woods 2004, Star Wars 2, F-Zero GX, Mario Sunshine, Zelda Collectors, Mario Kart, SSX 3, Simpsons Road Rage, Metroid Prime, Mario Strikers, Zelda Four Swords, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Superstar Baseball, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Resident Evil 4. So that's it for the GameCube. Excellent selection of GameCube games. Then we got Wii, Super Paper Mario, Mario Sonic, Guitar Hero, Skyward Sword, another Paper Mario, Mario All-Stars, Punch-Out, Zack and Wiki, Excite Truck, New Super Mario Bros, Mario Galaxy, 007, Sin and Punishment, Need for Speed Nitro, Clone Noah, Mario Kart Wii, Royal Land, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Mario Galaxy 2, and the Steelbook of Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's beautiful. Over here we've got some more 64 games, including Pilot Wings, 
Tony Hawk 2, Paper Mario, Wave Race, Diddy Kong Racing, Zelda Ocarina, Mario Kart 64, GoldenEye 007, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Let's check that one out. So there she is. Definitely looks legit. San Francisco Rush 2049. And then some Genesis games. Golden Axe, Road Rash 2, Rocket Knight Adventures, Quack Shot. Even got some uh, like fan-made games. Streets of Rage 2 Simpsons Edition. There's a regular Streets of Rage 3. Landstalkers, Sonic 2, Shinobi, Gunstar Heroes. Feels like there's no manual, but still love getting that one. Here's another fan-made TMNT Streets of Rage 2. Those are pretty awesome. And then Garfield. And we've got some GBA games. Nice ones. Rock and Roll Racing, The Lost Vikings. There's a GameCube memory card. Zelda for a Game Boy Color. And then Zelda DX. And we also found the Game Boy Player Disc, which is the most important part. I'm going to test that, make sure that the Game Boy Player works. So that's it for that bin. Definitely some quality stuff. And I've got the next bin unpacked. We've got some beautiful books, including this hardcover Zelda Link to the Past book, DuckTales Nintendo Power, Nintendo Power number one, and it has all of the attachments, the poster, the business reply card, in beautiful condition. I think this is Nintendo Power 61, also beautiful condition. And then some really awesome graded comics, including this one, which there's only 750 copies of. Batman and TMNT, graded a 9.8. Got this TMNT Adventures number one. Graded a 9.6. This is uh, TMNT from Raj Studios. Uh, graded 8.5. And then TMNT from 1985, Raphael number one, a 9.4. So some beautiful stuff there. And then it just keeps coming. We got a Rob the Robot. I've been looking for this controller forever. The Donkey Kong 64, believe it was a Nintendo Power mail-in exclusive with the bananas on the bottom. A little bit of damage, but he did send me a picture of that, so I knew that was coming. Got this nice Retro Fighters N64 controller. And then the PSP Go. Don't see these every day. Powered on. And it's got all the necessary cables, including the a nice little component cable. So that's that. Got the, this Donkey Kong from 1982. A little plush. And then the two GameCube controllers. Nintendo brand, good shape. So that's it for that bin. So I just cleared out the big tub. A lot of stuff bubble wrapped and protected nicely. We got some new in package, X-Men figures and Batman. Super cool figures there. Some G.I. Joe vehicles, the Batmobile. This is a uh, TMNT new set of four action figures. Those are awesome. And then we got N64 era Zelda Ocarina of Time figures. Packaging has a little bit of wear, but pretty awesome. This guy right here, super heavy, probably like, I don't know, a couple pounds at least, die cast. Very nice. And then some controllers, NES, SNES, and Genesis. Got a complete inbox Virtual Boy. It's got the manual, system with visor, and the games inside of the system. And then the controller with battery pack and the stand is under there. Got this Star Wars Transformers um, 
ATAT, I believe. Yeah, the ATAT driver. There's a vintage link. Little uh, figure on a stand there. Sega like Nomad complete in the box. We've got a like a Retron 3 or whatever version of it that is. That's brand new. The Black Wii with Wii Sports and Resort complete in box. And this is beautiful. This Super Nintendo Donkey Kong set. Love that box. And it's in really good shape and complete. And then the NES Classic. It's like brand new in there, never been used. So that was an absolutely beautiful bin of stuff. And we still have more to go. So I've got two more bins, including this one, which is probably one of my favorites because it's got some awesome games, including Switch games. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And then we got some PS3 Dark Souls. DuckTales Remastered. A good time to get that game. It's the only way you can play is physical. Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Prince of Persia. Ratchet and Clank. Spec Ops The Line. The Last of Us looks sealed. It is sealed. Valkyria Chronicles. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. We've got the Darksiders Collection. Splinter Cell Trilogy. Those are games that will hold value for a long time. Batman Arkham City. Bioshock Infinite. Resistance Fall of Man. Portal 2. We got XCOM 2 on PS4. Horizon looks sealed. Complete Edition. And then Gravity Rush. And then some Genesis games, including X Men 2, the cardboard box. Really awesome. Shining Force 2, cardboard box. Some more PS3, Indiana Jones, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, NBA Jam, not a good game. Play the original. Final Fantasy, God of War Saga, Hitman HD Trilogy, and then the Lego Harry Potter game. And we got Genesis Tasmania, Aladdin, Wonder Boy of Monster World. And Krusty's Super Fun House. So some pretty nice stuff there. And we've got some PS1 stuff, including Alundra. Working Designs. Always look for Working Designs games. They're usually quite expensive. Tomb Raider. Die Hard Trilogy. Final Fantasy VII Black Label. Twisted Metal 2. Tekken 3. And Crash Bandicoot, the Black Label Orange Disc version. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Final Fantasy, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver, Metal Gear Solid, Uncommon Game, Herx Adventures, um, that's a reprinted uh, manual, but it does have the original disc and cover art. Diablo, that is a nice, nice game there, and then Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, so a couple really nice ones. We got Rise Star on Genesis. And then probably my favorite part of this bin is a whole bunch of Switch games. Guacamelee is sealed. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy also sealed. This one I think I might play. Ukule Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. It's like the side-scrolling... Um, is this the side-scrolling one? I think it is. With, yes, it, is. it is. With the. Kind of looks like Donkey Kong Country. L.A. Noir. Super Mario Odyssey. Super Meat Boy. Sealed. Runner 3 is also sealed. Enter the Gungeon. That one will be entering the collection. <laughs> and then Mario Rabbids also sealed. Super Mario Maker 2, also sealed. Zelda Link's Awakening, probably keeping that one since I never got around to buying it. Uh, this is, what, Okami? It's like a Japanese game. Import. 
Uh, Breath of the Wild, fantastic game. Mario Kart 8, also fantastic. The best Mario Kart, in my opinion. Toki Toki from Super Rare Games, nice. R Type Dimensions, sealed. Collections, or Collection of Mana, sealed. And then Ghostbusters, the video game, remastered. So that's everything from that beautiful bin. I think you guys can definitely see the quality. All right, and the last bin is a whole bunch of figures, Transformers, G.I. Joes, Nintendo figures, Turtles, all sorts of stuff. Most everything is minty, fresh, and complete, like in bubble wrapped and bagged. Like this is a Transformers figure. It's got everything with it. That's one of the nicer ones. I don't know the names of all the Transformers. So, I'm just going to kind of show what I can and say what I can about it. TMNT stuff. Pretty heavy duty feeling figures. I'm pretty sure this is Grimlock from Transformers and it's complete. Um, they even have their little cards here. So we got Grimlock. Laser Beak. And Buzzsaw and Ravage. So we've got all the cards there in nice shape. Here's one of those like Transformers little tape players with some tapes. I've seen like one of those in my ventures that was like in the wild. Uh, that's a 80s Batman figure. There's um, like an original Boba Fett with his gun. Original. And that thing is really clean, really nice shape. This kind of looks like a Nika uh, Turtles figure there. These are from the Dark Knight series. Really nice condition. There's a nice looking Link with its shield. It appears to be complete. Another Link. Different eras. These are like the um, mini... Star Wars ships like die cast. So you can see it's just some really nice stuff. Like this, this is the Club Nintendo Mario Kart trophy. I mean that thing's like metal, heavy, super awesome quality stuff. There's a real vintage link. 80s Mario and the Koopa Troopa. I think that's the second one of those. There's a Bowser. Some of these guys. I believe the trailer goes with Optimus here, and it is complete. Got some Joes, GI Joes, and I believe they actually have like their file cards and stuff inside of here. But you can see Spider-Man and Iron Man also in there. Wolverine. Got some. These are some quality, like straight arm, GI Joe figures. And then some random weapons and stuff. Let me know what these are too. I can't remember what those are too. Um, some cars. There's Donkey Kong and Diddy from the like minecart levels. Joker. Some more Donkey Kong, Mario figures. Star Wars. And that's everything. So it was a beautiful collection. Um, we're already starting getting, getting everything processed and sent off. I'm estimating it'll take about one week between me and David working um, to get everything at least listed and then after that it'll be selling but I'm very very happy with this collection and stoked to get stuff sold so thank you guys for watching chase out at the right price remember if you have a collection and you want to sell it let me know. Hit me up on Facebook. Got link in the description. But yeah, this is like the fifth viewer collection that I've purchased. The third of like significant size. Um, so yeah, let me know. Hit me up on Facebook if you can get within like an hour and a half of me in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And kind of agree to the general terms. We'll probably be able to work something out. And I'd love to buy your collection too if it's something that you're getting out of. But anyways, thank you guys for coming along for the ride. This was a fun one. Some amazing video games and toys in this collection. And Owen, I appreciate it. So hit that subscribe button if you like this type of video. Hit the bell. 
and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Chase after the right, right.